Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Sheni, Chapter 2, um, Duff, uh, Yud, Dalit, Amud, Aleph, uh, Chapter 2, 14a, sorry, 14b, that should be, Amud Bet, but I'm just going to start from uh, the two dots on the uh, previous page. Elohen ben haprakim vechule. These are between the paragraphs. Amar Rabbi Abahu, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Sorry, that was from the Mishnah. Rabbi Abahu said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Alecha ka Rabbi Yehuda. The Lord calls with Rabbi Yehuda. Dama ben Elohechem le'metviyatzi v'lo yafsik. He said between the last word of Shema, your God, and emetviyatzi, uh, one may not interrupt. Amar Rabbi Abahu, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Abahu said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. What is Rabbi Yodah's reason for no interruption between Shema and Emet Yatsiv? Dichtiv, because it's written now on uh, the top of Yud Dalid Amabet. Vashem Elohim Emet. Hashem, God is true. Uh, which is from Yirmiyahu, a quote from Yirmiyahu, um, where Yirmiyahu connected the words. Uh, uh, Elohim and Emet. Chazer ve'omer Emet o eno chazer ve'omer Emet. Does he repeat true or does he not repeat true? Amar Rabbi Yabahu, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Chazer ve'omer Emet. He must repeat the word true. Rabbi Omer, Amar. Eno chazer ve'omer Emet. He does not repeat true. Hahu denachit kamei de Rabbah. A certain man went down in front of uh, the Aaron Kodesh before Rabbah, as a, uh, as um, Shlech Tzibur. Shamei Rabbah Damar Emet Emet Tre Zimnei. Rabbah heard him say the word Emet twice at the end of Shema. Amar Rabbah Kol Emet Emet Tafse Lehai. A stream of pronouncing true seized this person. Amar of Yosef. Kamamalya ha shmatata. How excellent is this teaching? Tichiata Rav Shmuel Bara Yehuda Amar. For when Rav Roshmo Bar Yehuda came from Eretz Yisrael to Babel, um, he said, Amre Bamaravaravit. They reside in the west in Eretz Yisrael. At night, Daber el ben Israel v'amata eloke elo el alehem alekem alehem ani Hashem el kechem emet. Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, I am Hashem your God. It is true. Amar le Abay Abay said to Rav Yosef, My maalu maal yota yota. What is the excellence of this teaching? Amar Rav Kahana Amar Rav Barakana said in the name of Rav lo yachil. In the evening, one need not begin. Ve'im uh, hitchel gomer. But if he did begin, that this is the third section of Shema, he must complete it. Ve'chitema v'amata alehem lo have hatchala. And if you'll say and say to them, v'amata alehem, is not considered the beginning. So there's no requirement to say this part. Amar Rav Shmuel Bar Yitzchak. Amar Rav. But Rav Shmuel Bar Yitzchak said in the name of Rav, "Daber Abu Nisrael lo havei hatchala." Speak to the children of Israel is not considered the beginning of the third portion. Amar Ale Alehem havei hatchala. Say to them, "This is considered the beginning." So the third por- uh, the beginning of the third portion, and one must complete the portion. Amar Rav Papa. Kasavre ba'amarava in the west near Israel, they are the, of the opinion ba'mata lehem nami lo havya hatchala, and say to them ba'mata lehem is also not considered the beginning. Adam ava sulahem titit until he says they shall make themselves titit. So that's when the, the third portion really begins. And 
people in Eretz Israel were not required to complete that third section because they never they never made for themselves tzitzit. Amar Abaye, Hilkach Anan at Cholei Matchalini Matchalinan. Therefore, in Babel we begin the third portion of Shema. In the evening, just as in the west they begin, and since we begin, we must also complete. said in the name of Rav, In the evening, you don't begin the third portion of Shema. But if he did begin it, he must complete. Just scroll down. Halfway down the first large narrow section at the word Chia Bar Rav on the right hand side. Chia Bar Rav Amar Amar Ani Hashem Elokechem. One said the third portion of Shema, which finishes with Ani Hashem Elokechem. Sarich lo mar emet, he must then say true, emet. Lo mar ni Hashem elokechem. If he did not say that portion uh, of Hashem ani Hashem elokechem, ain't not sarich lo mar emet. He doesn't need to say true. Vaha by lad kure yet yet mitraim. But one is required to mention the the Exodus even in the evening. So how can you not say the third portion of Shema, the third paragraph? Damahachi. Uh, one says thus Modima Nachnula Lucha Hashem Elokeinu We thank you Hashem our God Shotad Shehot Se Tanu Meeret Yitzrayim For you have taken us out of the land of Egypt Uv Titanu Yibet Avodim And you have redeemed us from the house of servitude Va Sita Lano Nasim Nisim Ugvarot Al Hayam And you have performed for us miracles and mighty deeds by the sea Ve Shanu Lach and we sing to you. This is a, this is a post Shema blessing. The Mishnah stated, "Ama Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha, Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha said, Lama Kadma Parashat Shema Becholi. Why does the portion Hero Israel Shema precede? Why does it come before?" Tanya, who's taught in a brayso, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai Amir. Bedin hu shiaktim shmali vahayayim shmoa. It is logical that the shma should come before vayem shmoa. Shezelu mo vezel elamed. For this is uh, the portion that shma commands us to learn the Torah. Whereas this, uh, whereas this vayem uh, shmoa is to teach the Torah, not to learn. Vayem shmoa le vayomer. Vayem shmoa comes before vayomer. For this is to teach, whereas this is to perform, Vayomer is to perform the mitzvahs. Ato Shma Lilmod It Bey, is it that the portion of Shma contains a commandment to learn Torah? Lilamed Vlasot Late Bey, but does not contain to teach and to perform. Vahakti Vishinantam Ukshatam Ukhtavtam, but it's written. And you shall teach them, and you shall bind them, and you shall write them. Vitu, and furthermore, Vayam Shmoa Lilamed Hu De Itbe. Is it Vayam Shmoa contains the commandment to teach Torah? The Lasot Le Be, but does not contain um, the commandment to perform. Vahaktiv, Ukshatem Mokhtavtam, but it is written, and you shall bind them, and you shall write them. Ela Hachikama, rather, Brysa said, Bedin hu shit tikdam shma li vehaya im shmoa. It is logical that the shma should come before by im shmoa. Shazel li omod lelamed loas velasot. For this part of shma to learn and to teach Torah and to perform, whereas the part before by im shmoa uh, is just to teach and perform.
Vayam Shemoa le Vayomer, the portion Vayam Shemoa comes before Vayomer. Sheze Yeshba le Lamed Vasot. For this contains a commandment to teach and to perform mitzvahs. Vayomer Ein Ba Ela La Sot whereas Vayomer contains only to perform. But let Rabbi Yeshua and Ben Yochai derive it from uh, the same place as Rabbi Yeshua Ben, Kor- ben Korcha, which is in our Mishnah. Kamar, one therefore, for one, and furthermore, Rabbi Shimon is stating, Chada, one, one reason for Shema, coming before Vahayim Shema, is. So that one should first accept upon himself the yoke of heaven and sovereignty. And afterward accept upon himself the yoke of the commandments. And furthermore, Because it contains all these other matters above. I'm just going to scroll down. So we're in the third last line of uh, the first large narrow section, starting Rav Mashe. Rav Mashe Yate. Rav washed his hands in the morning. And afterwards put his tefillin on and davened and prayed. Vehechi avid hachi. But how could Rav do this? Vatanya, why was so nebrisa ha chofer kuch lamet be kever? One who is digging a recess in a burial chamber for a corpse. Patur mekriyat shma umin hatvila umin hatvilin. Is exempt from the recital of shma from prayer and from tvilin. Umikom mitzvot amorot ba Torah and from all commandments stated in the Torah. Higiaz man kriyat shma. Time of the Shema recital will rise. All live in hotel Yadav Maniach Tfilin. He must ascend to the surface, wash his hands, John Tfilin. The correct Kriyat Shema will meet Palom, perform the, sh- the Shema and pray. So that um, when the time of Shema comes. Ha Gufa Kasha. This is a difficult. This is a difficulty. Resha Mabatur. Beginning. Uh, stated that the great degree, great degree is exempt from saying Shema. The Sefer Chayav, whereas the end, it says he's obligated to say Shema. Ha, lo, kasha, this is not difficult. Sefer betray. The end is where two people are digging and one of them can ascend. The Resha Bechad, and the beginning is where only one person is digging and so he can't stop to, to do the mitzvah. Mikol Makom Kasha Larav. In any event, this is a difficult to rough. Rav, 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 Rav Karabi Yosho ben Karcha Sfirle, Rav holds like Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha. Damar, sorry. Uh, sorry, I lost my place. Rav Krabi, Rav Karabi Yoshua, Ben Karcha Sfirle, Rav holds like Rabbi Yoshua Ben Karcha, Damar Ol Machut Shemaim Tchila, who said first, accept the yoke of heaven's sovereignty, Vachakach Ol Mitzvot, and afterwards the yoke of the commandments. So first Rav uh, first said Shema, and then only did he put on the mitzvah of Tfilin, perform Tfilin. Ema dama Rabbi Yeshua ben Kacha le Haktim Kriya le Kriya said that Rabbi Yeshua ben Kacha said uh, that this is a preface to the recital of Shema before the recital of Vayam Shema. Kriya la Sia mi Shamaat le did anyone ever hear him um, uh, do a mere recital before the performance of the mitzvah. So no one did, so therefore we can't say it definitively. Vetur, and furthermore, 
Mi savar le Rabbi Yosho ben Kacha does Rav hold like Rabbi Yosho ben Kacha? Um, he taught that so uh, God's sovereignty comes before accepting the yoke of the commandments. Ba'amar Rav Chia Bar Ashi Rav Chia Bar Ashi said Zimnin Sagiin Hava Kaimna Kamei de Rav. On many occasions I was standing before Rav. Umakdim, and he would rise early. Umashe yadei umevarech. Wash his hands and recite the blessings of Torah. Umatne lan pirkin. He would teach. Uh, he would teach us Torah lessons. Umanach tefillin. Then put on tefillin. Vadar kare kriyat shema. And afterwards, we he would perform shema recital. Bechitem abidlo matazman kriyat shema. And if you'll say. Uh, where the time for Shema recital had not yet arrived. Im came, Mai aha as had te de Ravchia Barashi. What's the point of Ravchia Barashi's testimony? La puke mi manda ama le Mishna enterich levarech. To rule out the one who says that the study of Mishnah is it is unnecessary. In order to study Mishnah, it is unnecessary to say uh, the blessing of the Torah. Kamash malan da'af la Mishnah nami tzarich lebarech. So Rav Chia Barash teaches us that for Mishnah as well, it is necessary to recite the brachot of the Torah. Mikoma kom kashel Rav, in any event, is a difficulty to Rav that the Bright supposes. Shluchahu David. It was the messenger that spoiled the order of the performance of these mitzvahs. Amarullah, kol hakorei kriyat shema belo tefillin. Anyone who performs a recital of shema without wearing tefillin, ki ilu me'id edud sheke batzmo, as if he utters false testimony upon himself. Amar rabbi chia bar abba amar rabbi yochanan, it is as if he offered the Ola sacrifice without a Mincha to accompany it or sacrifices without a wine libation. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, One who wishes to accept upon himself the yoke of heaven's sovereignty in a complete manner. I'll just finish the next page. Yipane vitol yadav should relieve himself and wash his hands. Vayaniach tefillin, put on tefillin. Vayikra kriyat shema, vipalil, and perform the recital of shema and pray. Vezohi malchut shemaim shlema, and this is a complete acceptance of the yoke of heaven's heaven's sovereignty.